How are we doing? Ralph here, Team Knucklehead. Now, I know it's been a while. Hold on. And we have introduced you to a few new team members that have been uh, doing reviews, but I'm back doing this one for us. Today we're going to be looking at the Brizzo styled mod, which is uh, the latest um, mod coming from the people that bought you the Broadside and the Admiral and all that. And, and the major difference with this one is, look, I put the black one out. It's got this natty little side fire button. Look. So it's not got a button on the base. It's got a solid disc that screws into the base. Uh, and to fire it, you push the button on the there you go and there yeah now the splurge cod piece or the purge slam piece we call them splurge cod pieces um they've got a side fire mechanism as well it's purely mechanical it's like a little slot in the body uh with a raised bit on it that you push down and it makes contact with the bottom gizmo that's fitted where the battery goes and all that this is very, very different. You may know the broadside and the Admiral for having a clutch mechanism, um, not dissimilar to some other ones we've seen, um, such as the Subhome Innovations uh, shorties and all the rest of it, their mods, and we were seeing some at Expo, I can't remember who made them and I'm really sorry, but they use a clutch mechanism that's fucking an improvement on the broadside one. Totally different. This is totally fucking different. There's no clutch mechanism. There's ever such a clever way of doing it. Um, and I must admit, when I first saw it, I was a bit not sure. But fuck me. It fucking delivers. It does. It's faultless, honestly. Let me have another vape. We've got these in black and brass. And solid brass. Although this is solid brass, but natural brass if you like polished brass um got these in first and i use this every single day for two weeks just because it's so nice it just does it, it fits the hand well with this tapered waisty bit look um i even like the little details i'll put a picture of this up on our facebook group which i'll link to in the description and a couple of the lads were saying about it, it looks a bit like a, a fucking coffee um peppermint which I can see. I thought more chess piece myself, but you know, he's sort of. Let me just look that tip because I use an easy dripper, but I've not bought it out with me, so bear with while I'm well over drip. Um, it's me RDA. That'll be alright, won't it? Worst that's going to happen is I get a gobful, so two up. Slightly moist, which is not always a bad thing. There you go. So yeah, fucking bob on. Um, we'll go in close. We'll look at what they're like. A bit, all of the magic is in the switch and this bottom section where the battery goes in and out. The rest of it is just a very ornate tube with a hybrid 510. So although it's very lovely to look at, it's not very exciting. But the switch is where it's at. So we'll go in close. We'll have a look at the fucking things. And uh, then we'll come back up, have another vape, and talk a little bit more, yeah? See you in a minute. Okie doke, so you get this natty little plastic tube that I always rip the piss out of. And in there is the devil itself, look. As I said in the intro, all the magic happens to switch end, yeah? Fucking brilliant. Um, you've got a lovely 510 with that starry, nautically type detail. Struggling to catch it on camera. Maybe that's a bit better. Um, this lovely wasted finish, which sits lovely in the old hand. I tend to cup it in my thumb like that and use that finger to fire the old gal or that one or fucking that one. You can do what you want. Um, with these ribbed sections I guess you'd call it um, so stylish yeah fucking certainly stylish we've got 25 mil at the uh, 510 end hybrid 510 obviously and that is about it for the tube you've got Brizzo or as we call it Brillo because we have coined these the Brillo pad mod B 
because we do like to call everything by its non-name, if you like. We always make up a silly fucking nickname. Um, you got the firing button, which incidentally screws in and out. So you screw it in, and it won't fire. And you screw it out, and it will. Yeah, we'll see how that works when I take this rattly bottom plate off. So remove that to expose the magic. Oh, look at that fucker! So you've got. This button spreads those silver plated contacts and they touch the side. Yeah. So you've got the three screws that work the magic. You've got this screw that pushes onto this elastic band so that the button pops back out. That one's a bit loose, needs tightening up. You've got these ones that hold the elastic band in place. And then you've got this pivot here with a little slot head that holds it all together. Couldn't get easier, could you? It's fucking bob on, look. There you go. So, sorry, this screw, that screw guides the switch. That don't actually uh, move with it. And like I say, if you screw it in, what that does, it prevents it pushing these apart enough to make a contact. So, look, bit, a little bit of movement there. But they're not contacting. Screw it out. Gives you the full throw. And uh, voila. Off you go. That touches the side. Makes the magic happen. Fires away. Yep. Inside, you've got an adjustable battery contact with this big Delrin insulator. These don't come out. The black bit don't come out. I've tried all sorts. I've done screwing it, prizing it. I don't want to break them, so I've left it. But this is adjustable. It's got a left-hand thread, meaning to make it come out and take your battery rattle out, you screw it clockwise, like this. Yeah? You can screw it all the way out and nothing will fall apart. There you go. That's bottomed out, if you like, in the, as far as it'll go. Oh, a little bit more. Yeah. Excuse me, this is brand new, it's a little bit stiff to be fair. But that's how you adjust your battery rattle, you adjust that contact in and out. And with it being uh, left handed thread, when you're screwing this on, if your battery catches that, it'll screw, unscrew it more. So you won't end up forever fucking about trying to get it set right. And that obviously goes through to this, that makes the contact, that does the business. Simple, eh? As come with uh, spare screws and spare o-rings and we're just waiting on some adapters so that you can fit an 18650 so if you got an adapter off another mod you obviously you can fit that in run an 18650 and you're away they also take 2700 and they also take 21700 which is what I run in everything that will fucking take it there's a bit of a tearing look at that and these re-wrapping we've got wraps yeah so jobs are good and nice simple effective very hard hitting due to the silver plated contacts I imagine and nice and safe because you can tighten the button up to lock it off <coughs> That seals off with this, that just screws in until it's nice and tight. And then what I like to do is just finish it off with something like that, just give it a little tweak and that will stop any rattle. Because they do, they rattle about a little bit. I don't know if they do on the authentics. There we go, look, just nip that up, no rattle. Adjust that for your battery, unscrew that to fire, screw it in to make it safe. When you storing it or having it in your pocket or whatever Bob's your uncle lovely lovely bits of kit they're simple dead effective really do the business let's go back up top and have another vape so yeah the old fucking Brillo pad styled mod who knew like I say we had these brass ones in first and I've beasted this got one of our uh, knuckle RDAs on there look in 25 mil guys and I'm sure you'll agree it sits quite well. With the all black, I've gone for this reckoning. 
I really like my reckonings. Um, it's like a satin black as well. I found that our knuckle ones are a little bit shinier. So I'm actually over with this because it's fucking bob on for it. I love the way that the brass contracts, contrasts against the black. Black and brass, can't go wrong, can it? It's hard, it's reliable, it's nice in the end. It takes any battery that you're going to use for vaping. Like I say, as will be supplied very soon uh, with that 18650 adapter. There was just a bit of a miscommunication with the manufacturer, so they're following. We've got all the mods in, we've got black in, we've got brass in. We ain't got the fucking adapters in because they fucked up basically, but they're on the way. They'll be with us soon enough. And in my opinion, the Brillo pad style mod, or the Brizzo mod, um, is probably my favourite to date from these guys. So there you go, it's a styled one. Um, I won't mention the shit that we've got off the uh, actual guy that owns the original company because he's a bit of a fucking dick in my humble opinion of course so we won't go into that but the wonderful 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 mods they proper do the fucking business yeah um they are in my book a winner winner chicken fucking dinner and you will be on that steam train to flavor town with one of these in your fucking pocket because they fucking kick ass not very expensive very little to go wrong, come with spares, look the part, fill the part, do the business, everything that I fucking want from a Mac mod, these fucking deliver. Yeah, they're absolutely stunning. I'll put a link in as always, so there'll be a link to the group, come and join us for regular giveaways, a real sense of community, honestly, it's a proper family thing going on there, and I'll put a link to the product on our website, go and check them out. Um, Apart from that, yeah, fucking what? Let me just have a quick drink. I don't know if you can pick it up. Hopefully the microphone won't pick it up. But we live on a farm, yeah? And the farmer's just taking delivery of a, a new load of stock, a load of bullocks. Fucking hell, all night. 11 o'clock they dropped off last night. Moving their fucking heads off in the cow shed, which is just 20 foot away from our front door. I don't think you'll hear, I think it's too quiet out of the back here. It's also pissing it down with rain. So maybe you'll hear that pitter patter of fucking fine fucking sky juice on the roof over the sound of the fucking the fugglies fucking moon the off there, bless them. Anyway. It's good to be back. It's good to have received such support. For the new members of the team, thank you very much everybody that showed support for those guys. They're very, very new to this. Um, the idea of that was that we just get regular Johns who have got something from us and they're going to give you their honest opinion about it. So you can see a bit of a, not that I'm biased, but we only stock shit that I like. So I'm kind of into what we do anyway, but these guys are not associated with us in any way business-wise. So members of the Knucklehead fam doing some reviews for us and it's been very well received so I thank everybody for that yeah especially members of the Knucklehead Vapes review team big love you guys moving along as is becoming customary cus customary cus cus well whatever as I fucking have been doing right what we're going to do we're going to give away this fucking Brillo Pad style mod on our Facebook group, so get following that fucking link, get joining up. There's three questions to answer. If you're not a fucking fuckwit, you'll be accepted. And uh, you'll get a chance to win this very fucking mod. So, by the time you see this review, there'll be a link to it and a competition running. So you've got to be in it to win it. Fucking bob on. That's your fucking lot. The Brillo pad styled mech mod, or the Brizzo styled mech mod, is fucking bob on in my book. 
I really, really like it. Like I say, we've got the brass ones in first. We've now got the black and brass. And as soon as they came in, I fucking had one. Yeah, straight away. We do a live twice a week. And you can see me on that live with this brand new straight out of the packaging. I don't think they're even in stock yet. And I'm there fucking... Because <laughs> they're fucking great. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll try and do at least one a month. Uh, I won't go into reasons why I've not been so active, but those that are closest to me know all about it and everything's cool. So, big love everyone. I'll see you again really soon. And remember people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you fucking choose, yeah? See you all later. Big love everyone. Right. Thank you.